Oh God, oh, it's ugly. Oh, it's ugly, get away, get away. Oh, oh God, oh, oh, this is just, oh, this is awful, it's awful. But now you can look at my pretty face. Anyways, this is a quick vlog. I'm just telling you what uh, I'm gonna be doing for the next week. I'm gonna put up some videos. I'm going to France with my school. Over a hundred people are going on the trip. It, it's huge for 10 days. And I'm gonna make a video per two days. So five videos are gonna be up probably during spring break, which happens the week after. Um, hopefully I can get them all edited, have them up within that week. Probably not because I'm lazy and also I'm gonna have a lot of homework to catch up on But all the same I'm telling you guys about it, and it'll be awesome. Hopefully. I'm hoping Okay, so now So this video actually has some substance to it. I will show you my new airsoft rifle I've had one other airsoft rifle a G36C and now I have this the Steyr Aug by uh, Aftermath and uh, I, if you know Airsoft, you know that Aftermath isn't a great brand, but it's one of the more reliable, cheap brands. So it's uh, good enough for me. It hasn't let me down yet, and it's pretty good. There are some really bad downsides about uh, a cheaper brand such as this, uh, like the foregrip, which is it's really cool. That's a cool part of the AUG, is that you can have it like traditional rifle style or foregrip style. But anyways, uh, or doggy style. It's a bit rickety, as you can see. It um, shakes around a lot, but when you're in combat, you don't really notice it. Also, the um, safety, as if you can see here, is uh, a bit rickety also. It uh, seems to want to come like apart. It's like two pieces put together through the gun. Also, the sights are freaking awful. They're just disgusting. I don't know if you can see what angle it is, but they are just, oh God, I detest them. But uh, I think I just used the French term. The sights are awful. I've been trying to get iron sights for it, but I don't really feel like spending the money right now. Anyways, but, um, there, that's pretty much all that's bad about it, besides that the mag doesn't sit great in the mag well, really. It sort of shakes around a bit. There, there are a lot of loose parts on this gun, honestly, now that I think of it. It's kind of just loosely made. It's The rest of it is pretty solid, and as I've checked, all the screws are in the right place for comparing to the real gun but um, this can be easily remedied with tape and paper or Velcro on the inside of the magwell, which I haven't done yet, but I'm getting around to it. I may also paint this gun, so I might do another video with the gun painted after. But uh, for now, it's just to give this France video some substance. All right, so now I think we can do some shooting with it, or I can, I don't think you're here with me. There's something shrieking over there. I really don't know what it is. I'm kind of afraid. I'm going to use some goggles so that my eyes do not get damaged um, while, uh, while I'm in France. Hey, you want to see these beautiful eyes in my France videos, right? So, anyways. And, uh... I'm not going to show you the target. The target isn't really important. It's a dead cat! What I'm going to show you is me firing it, and then maybe I'll try to do some slow-mo stuff if, um, to test this camera's capabilities, because apparently it can do slow-mo. So, I'll try it.
All right. So, see you in France, mofo. <laughs>